It feels like my prayers has finally been answered that there is going to be a brand new mainline Neptunia game coming sometime in the future, as well as six other Compound Heart games that's just been announced. And we got to talk about it right now. Hello, my beautiful gamers. Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, amazing day. Today is Sunday, and we are going to be talking about seven new Compound Heart games that's going to be coming within the next few years. And I cannot be more excited than to talk about them. So let's dive in talking about the first game. Now, I want to preference that my reading of Japanese names is not the best so definitely bear with me if I butcher some of these names but if you guys are a fan of any of these series let me know down in the comments down below and we can have a conversation about it the first game is going to be Tokuro Takaki Calamity Angels is a delivery theme RPG for the PlayStation 5, PS4, Switch, and PC. Will launch for consoles in Japan in summer of 2024, followed by a PC variant on Steam a little later. The this slapstick style gameplay will feature voluptuous, cute, and commercial characters designed by Key Naka Nanamida. I think I said that right. I hope I did. And a story and gameplay that revolves around various personality types like Moe and Earheads. Compound Heart also con conducted interviews with Japan Post during development. So pretty much we're going to be playing Amazon Premium Delivery Service game, which i'm very excited for um the characters looks very cute and i'm assuming that the main character is going to be depending on if you choose male or female which also look very cute you got these like keyblade looking swords that looks also like a hammer and this little mailbox minion also looks very cute the key art for it looks amazing and i like this mage looking character that I really like their design. And then you got the, it looks like a mage, bunny girl, which you never gonna go wrong with a bunny girl. And then the last bit is a, looks like a very jittery knight, which also looks really cute. I'm looking forward to this game. Um, it looks very odd, which I like. And Identity Factory and Compound Heart is very known for the goofy, wild, slapstick game so it works and i think it will be a fun time so i'm definitely looking forward to it if you guys are looking forward to it i definitely want to see a trailer and seeing how the gameplay will be down in the comments down below let me know how you guys feel about it the next one is going to be a brand new toho game which i've never played a toho game i've never really been into them because they've been shoot em up games however this one is going to be changing th some things up a little bit which does pique my interest of being the first ever tactical RPG developed in corporation, co cooperation with Steam for multiple platforms will launch spring of 2024 in Japan. The game features character illustrations from Toho Project Reborn with Compel Hearts Like Aura by Katatsuyuki Hanaro. The story revolves around a 30 day spell card battle in which many characters protect participate with battle and story parts uh, alternary the game itself will combine the bullet hell of shoot em ups with tactical battles this including incorporating familiar elements from shoot em up games and such high powered bombs battles are real time so they will battle in real time almost kind of like a tactical fire emblem but with guns and bombs and explosions which makes it feels like a Konosuba anime but i really do like it i like the fact that they're going to be trying to do new elements for the shoot 'em up tactical rpg style which piques my interest as you know i love tactical rpgs are one of my favorite games to play and you know, I this will give me the chance to actually play a Toho game for the first time, which I've been wanting to do so. But again, I'm not that big a fan of the shoot 'em up game genre, so that's why I never really dove into them. Now, I don't remember this character's name at all, but I have seen her many years of my lifetime, and she's very cute. And we got some new key art 
done in the compound style and it looks very cute they look adorable and it makes me want to play it even more so i'm looking forward to that speaking of more of shoot 'em up games there's going to be an untitled shoot 'em up game a genuine shoot 'em up game developed in cooperation with m2 it will launch for an unannounced platform in late summer of 2024 in japan this is a lot of games coming back to back to back to back so i hope they're more quality than quantity. I mean, they are spread out within a short a kind of a gap, but it does worry me that, you know, that they're compelling a lot of games back to back to back, which is concerning. But regardless of the fact, character designs for the pilot and company have been have a compound like aura. This will be a brand new title with some new or never before seen challenge elements so it seems like they're going to be trying to change up the elements and do things different for this particular shoot 'em up game and if they do and they add i guess some rpg elements into it then i will definitely be maybe intrigued but again i'm not that big on shoot 'em up games so I probably will pass on this one but the character does look very cute i do like her she definitely seems like she fits really well in the neptunia series more than the shoot em up game but it is kind of like a space outfit sort of so it's very cute i like it and let me know how you guys feel about shoot em up games am i writing off a good trendy game that could be a lot of fun let me know down in the comments down below the next one is a brand new madu Monogatari 4, which I feels like we haven't seen one since the Sega Saturn, if I'm not mistaken, or the Game Gear. However, there's going to be a brand new entry in the RPG series of Madu, Madu, uh, Maduo? I hope I said that in the first part right, Monogatari. After several decades developed by Sting in cooperation with Intellectual property holder d4 enterprise it will launch for an unannounced platform in summer of 2024 in japan many former compound staff are involved in the game's development including steam's president's president sega is in cooperating is, is also cooperating allowing the use of familiar characters such as those from the puyo puyo series so i think oral and her little mascot will be included into the game. I don't remember the skeleton guy, but I do remember him from Puyo Puyo Tetris, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I've never played one of these games. Um, I know it's a very classic older JRPG back in the day. And um, if they ever did a compilation for newer gen consoles, I would pick it up and play it. Um, but let me know how you guys feel about the games. What, what what did they play like? If you're excited for that, let me know. What are you excited for the most? The next one is a Den N Request Code Zone, a new spin-off game in the entry that of the Den N and Request series due out for an unannounced platforms, but I'm assuming it's gonna be PS5, Switch, and all those other platforms that we all know and love in summer of 2024 in Japan. See, like, this is coming out in summer 2024, this is coming out in summer 2024, and this is also coming out in summer 2024. That is a lot of games in a short amount of time for summer of 2024. Now, I'm sure that there's different teams working on these different games, but still, that is a lot of games, more quantity than quality, but I hope the quality is definitely really, really good. For these games um that is my only concern but the story is connected to the death in request and death in request 2 and will feature new elements that compound heart is able to challenge due to the fact that it, this game is a spin-off so they'll be able to push the characters in new and different directions and really expand the world of the den and request world as this will be a spin-off so they'll be able to have I guess more fun with the elements that they will present to us and the main character who i'm assuming that you'll be playing as looks very cute and hot i like her design and the other two characters are also very cute and nice so i will be looking forward to that when it does come out now the dead end request series is one of the series that i'm definitely trying to catch up on on my backlog i haven't really dived into them yet but i'm definitely looking forward to it and when i do 
I'll give more greater thoughts on it. But I want to try to beat it because there is also an announcement for an untitled mainline dead end request coming sometime in the future. There's no actual release date of when it's coming out, but it's coming out. It is currently in planning alongside Def N and Request in Code Zone. God, that was a mouthful. However, since a numbered entry requires more time, the spinoff will release first. So again, they're gonna put more focus on the spinoff than this mainline game for now, and they'll work on it sometime in 2026. Maybe, that's what I'm assuming that's will come out, but maybe it'll come out in 2025 at the rate that they're releasing games right now. And the main Chungi Wonky, the main event game that I am most excited for, which is the untitled main line. Let me say that again. Main line Neptunia game. I'm glad that they're finally saying which is a spinoff and which is a mainline game. Thank you. Thank you. That is all I ever wanted. A new number entry in the, the Neptunia series is coming in, the, is currently in development for an, an unannounced platform which i'm assuming is going to be ps5 switch and pc for steam a compounds as compound hearts flagship series the company is taking the time on development for uh, about two years key staff members such as producer nakako uh, mizuzono mizono i hope i'm saying that right i please i hope i'm saying that right but i'm probably not and illustrator um sukano sukano have been shaping the game's content and a direction has finally been determined. That makes me so happy to hear that they've been taking their time to really excel the Neptunia brand and series in a brand new way. I really want them to push the boundaries. I want them to put the most quality that they can into the game. I really want to see the games excel into a new height that we've never seen before. I want them to try to do new things. I want them to try to get rid of the visual novel cutscenes because these games are the flashy games this is their sonic their mario and i want them to do bigger things to have fully fleshed out voiced cutscenes and really pushing the jrpg landscape that everyone is looking at it like damn Neptunia shaped up quite well because Neptunia Sisters vs. Sisters didn't really leave a big impression on a lot of people, which saddens me as a Neptunia fan. Even me included, there's some things I have problems with the Sister Sisters vs. Sisters gameplay. I know I butchered that a little bit, but just, just roll with it. And I am looking forward to Game Maker Revolution. Hopefully they enhance the gameplay that they did for Sisters vs. Sisters, but I'm looking definitely forward to a new mainline game. I don't know if this is gonna be following up the Mega Dimension or it will be following Sisters vs. Sisters because I think it's a mainline game, but a lot of people think it's a spinoff. Regardless of the fact, I am looking forward to it. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments down below. And if you're excited for any one of these games, I would love to hear what you guys feel and think on the games down below. Also, let me know if I'm writing off shoot 'em up games and I should give them a better chance than what I do. Because if you guys have someone that some that will be a good recommendation, like the Toho series, let me know and I'll probably give them a try whenever I get the chance to. But that is pretty much for this article. It was one that I had to dive into because there was a lot in here that I love. I love ID Factory, even though sometimes I don't agree with a lot of their practices, I do love them as a company and a publisher. So I'm definitely looking forward to a lot of these games. But that is it for now. If you guys did enjoy this news and would like to see more, RPG and JRPG news for more things. Let me know down in the comments down below and hit the subscribe button for your Atelier, Neptunia, Sonic the Hitchhog, Final Fantasy content. You are already in the right place and definitely hit the like button, subscribe for more. Also, join the Discord if you haven't done so already. It's a ever growing community of people that just wants to chill, vibe, and play some JRPGs and just hang out and have a good time. It is an 18 plus Discord, so definitely keep that in mind. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video next time. Goodbye.